Hey, what's up? Glad you could click on my 1 to 99 thieving guide. I'll actually be posting every single 99, so make sure you check it out. And if you do find this video enjoyable, make sure you subscribe. Let's get into it. I try to start off every single one of these guide videos with the quest because if you do the quest in the beginning, you're going to save yourself so much time and basically just skyrocket yourself from like level 1 to 40 or 50 or even 30 if you're a little lazy, but I would recommend it. Simple quests like the fight arena giving 2.2k XP could get you to level like 15 from level 1 and the quest takes 5 minutes and it gives really good combat XP along with fairy ring part 2 you're probably gonna have to do that quest slug menace that unlocks the prosite armor it's actually the cooler looking initiate armor that you get from the falador quest and it's really good for prayer. The quest called the feud you'll actually need to do this quest later on for thieving and it's really helpful it actually gives you an adamant scimitar which isn't that big of a deal, but in demo mode, people do this quest all the time, free weapon. But yeah guys, do what you want to do, just my suggestion. A couple useful items are actually getting the RD cloak, which will give you a 10% thieving boost throughout the RD city. Another item is the gloves of silence, which do help mainly for hunter, but it does actually increase your percentage of pickpocketing while thieving. If you are looking to get high thieving, I would highly recommend getting the rogue set. You get no extra XP, but twice as much loot, and it's really good for thieving RD knights, etc., which you can make about 400k an hour, possibly with this set. Another item that's actually overpowered, but nobody uses it, is called the Dodgy Necklace. This came into the game a couple months ago, and it's actually going to give you a 25% chance to not fail while wearing this necklace if you're pickpocketing. I'm doing a giveaway with every single one of these 99 videos and I actually got this one a little mixed up, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna give away 3 mil GP and a Pharaoh Scepter and feel free to check out the channel in like 5 days to see if you won. And you know, if you're watching this video months and months after it's been posted, I might have uh, another giveaway up my sleeve for you guys or just some other content so check out the channel, lots of good stuff. The items you'll need will definitely depend on which route you choose to thieve, but you're most likely going to want food, anti-poison, a maple blackjack U, which you can buy from the GE, uh, it's only like 15k, a pharaoh scepter which is about 5 mil, you don't need this but it's really going to help you during pyramid plunder, and you could also get the rogue set which I just talked about, only 50 thieving and agility required and very helpful. Starting it off at Lumbridge and real quick before we begin, go to your wrench actually, and uh, go to NPC attack and turn it to hidden or right click. This should make it a lot easier to train on NPCs like guards, etc. So yeah, you guessed it, one to five men or women. You could also go to Camelot in the, uh, in the village, in the pub and uh, thieve them there or Varrock. They're all over the place to be honest. You know, you're gonna be here for about one minute and it's, it's the worst gold ever. It's like three GP a pickpocket. So once you've gotten 5 thieving, I suggest heading over to Artie. You might want to take the lever or you could actually buy like a tablet, a cami tab from the GE to get there and just walk south. You're going to want to head to the center of Artie and go to the marketplace and steal from the cake stall. This is roughly 8k an hour and it is pretty good food if you are low level. And uh, if you're like a level 10 HP skiller, you might want to watch out for the guards because they can hit you pretty nice, especially if you're AFK. I would stand on the, um, the east side. And then if they are attacking you, actually just run into the grass and they should let up. Next up, stealing from the silk stalls from 20 to 38, roughly 15k XP an hour. And you could sell later to the merchant or just, just drop it. It's not even worth that much. Or you could sell to the GE if you're really hurting. I would suggest doing this in a populated world. So if the guards do come around, they actually attack another person instead of you. But if you can't seem to find anyone, you could actually open this door just north and hit the guard, lure him in, and then lock him in there, and then you're, you're good to go. So next up, 38 to 45 Master Farmer. You should be expecting about 20k XP an hour. Once you get higher thieving, of course, you could actually come back here with the Rogue Outfit, which I'd recommend. If you get this set, it takes about 5 hours. You'll actually get no more XP, but you'll get double the loot. So let's say you got a Rainar Seed, you get two of them, amazing. I'd also highly recommend any Iron Man doing this for a couple hours to get some base level seeds to start training farming. If you're not able to get to Artie, or you just don't like the scenery, you can actually go to Draenor Village. I find that there is more people here, it's kind of more friendly, and other people actually drop seeds, which could be of value. I do want to touch upon the Rogue's Den minigame and the Rogue's outfit real quick. The guide would be increased about 10 minutes if I were to show you, you know, me going through every single trap and trying to get the outfit. It takes about 5 hours, but I will show you guys the map and a pretty cool money making method. So if you teleport to Bertho via the game's necklace and then you actually go to the bar, go down the ladder, 
This is where you actually purchase the graceful outfit with the marks of grace. Check out my 99 agility guide, but you can actually buy lock picks here and a stethoscope from Martin Twite. And then just move 10 squares over here to the middle of the room and pick lock these safes. You could AFK or you could go full focus. You can get some good gems. So once you get about 50 agility and 50 thieving, I would highly suggest getting the rogues outfit. This is going to take multiple, multiple hours, but it'll grant you double the loot from any NPC you actually thieve. And if you're planning on getting, you know, 99 thieving, this is going to make you 30 mil, 50 mil more than you would actually get. I would highly suggest getting every single piece and, you know, not just the gloves or not just the boots. Like I said earlier, take me another 10 or 15 minutes just to cover this section of the guide. So I highly suggest checking out another guide or, you know, Wikipedia or something. But this is the map and we can see it's very, very complex. Each run's going to take you about 5 to 10 minutes and you will get a huge amount of XP at the end, of course. And you could also unlock one of the pieces of the rogue outfit. Alright, so the next method is found deep out in the desert around Polyvenich. You're definitely going to want to bring a desert outfit and some water skins. You'll also want to bring gold for the carpet and if you're low on food, you can actually buy wine and other various liquids from this bartender for very cheap. And I believe these wines heal 9 to 11, so it's awesome. So the method I'm about to show you is actually the quickest XP in the whole game but it is a little bit tedious and there's certain levels you unlock better XP because there's actually three different guards. You could come here at low level and do the bandits, but I'm going to come here at higher level and do the thugs, and you could actually go to 99, make a good amount of gold, and it's the quickest method like I said. So what you want to do is actually lower one of these guys into the hut, and then close the curtain of course, and then you'll want to zoom in on your camera, right click knock out, and then pickpocket twice, and then just keep repeating, you'll actually get in a pretty good rhythm, it might be a challenge for 20 minutes, but I guarantee you, you will get it, I remember doing this for a couple hours, and it actually became kind of pleasant, especially if you're just chilling back watching a movie. Another alternative at 55 is the Arty Knights, although I would suggest coming here at like 60 to 70 to 80, because you're not going to fail as much, which means more XP and more gold. Like I said before, you might want to get that rogue outfit, which is going to give you twice as much loot, because this method is going to give you a lot of gold, and everyone else has it, so you kind of feel embarrassed if you don't. Pickpocketing Arty Knights is somewhat click intensive, really good for like an alt account if you are on a main, and yeah, there's been rumors of people doing this all the way to 200 mil XP, and they actually put a laptop on the floor and click there with their big toe. It sounds crazy, but people do it. Anything for some gold, man. So moving on to one of the best methods to get to 99, Pyramid Plunder. And make sure you guys stay till the end because I actually do have some money making methods saved at the end. I would highly suggest if you can afford it, getting a Pharaoh Scepter, they're about 5 mil, but it's going to teleport you right to the pyramid. Once you get inside, just start the minigame with the mummy, and you might want to find a populated world so you can do it with another person, and actually try to have him go before you like 5 seconds, and you can actually trail in his spot and see which doors didn't work for him. And if like he goes through a door and it does work, that's the same door you want to go through. Now depending on your thieving level, you're only going to want to do the last 2-3 to three rooms, so um, skip the first couple, it's not very good XP. And as far as gear and inventory goes, you really don't need anything except an anti-poison potion, a little bit of food, and some stamina. If you do get any gold seals or scarabs, I would totally keep on to them because they're about a K each. And that's all the gold you're going to be getting from Pyramid Plunder unless you get a Pharaoh Scepter, which is 5 mil like I said. And you can actually get them from the sarcophagus and the chest in the middle of the room. The XP rates are pretty good, 125k at 71, 190k at 81, and 250k at 91. Once you have a moderately high thieving level, you can actually make some gold on top of the Arty Knights or if you get a Pharaoh Scepter. At level 78, you could go to the Dorkshin chest and actually unlock it for 2.5k and a whole bunch of uncut gems like the Topaz is 3k each. You got some other, uh, you know, diamonds on there. It's actually pretty good gold. It's 300 seconds respawn time, so you're definitely going to want to hop. At 84, there's a rogue's chest, which is probably about 800k an hour, maybe a little bit less or even more. I'm not sure, you know, based on the prices, but it is good gold, but it is in the wildy. There's lots of PK here, so bring food, get ready, log out. Yeah.
I do hope you learned something and found the guide helpful and subscribe guys it means so much it really does and I'll actually be posting every single 99 so make sure you guys go check those out also guys feel free to check out Sears Village and come support the channel it would mean a lot have a good one boys Drinking old English Rags tied Hang inside Letters on my hat